tends to want to, to push your logs in towards the inside of the house on the top surface. So have two people doing this if at all possible and uh, your logs should go up nice and straight. In any given log wall, typically the longest log that you would find would be 16 feet. Due to that fact, there will be butt joints in your log wall. Uh, we attempt to offset these joints approximately two feet as a minimum from course to course to course. But when we do have a butt joint, the method that we join the logs together uh, involves a groove like we see here. This groove is already milled into the butt end of the log like you see. It's a half inch wide. It's three quarter inches deep. What we have here, as you can see, is a butt joint uh, where two logs join together end to end. If we look on top, we can see the grooves that we spoke of. And you can see here that they don't quite line up properly uh, in line with one another. Uh, one of the tools that we have that works real well for, for assisting this situation is a simple end on a crowbar here. We stick it into the two grooves. And if we twist the bar, as we're doing here, we can line these two grooves up perfectly. And while pressure is being applied to the bar, a 16-penny nail can be driven in on the inside face of the, the tongue to stabilize the two uh, logs until we get our spline put into place. Once we have our grooves lined up, we want to go ahead and put our lag into place to stabilize uh, this log. Have your lag into place. Now you'd want to go ahead and put the caulk into that uh, groove where the spline's going to be uh, applied. You want to fill that groove up about two thirds of the way. Very important, especially in the winter time, to keep, the, keep this caulk uh, nice and pliable, keep it warm so it doesn't stiffen up on you. And you can go ahead and push your spline down into place. If, uh, if it seems a little difficult to get the spline in, it'd be all right to place a piece of wood on top of the spline, gently tap it down into position, and uh, you pretty much have it accomplished. This takes care of the demonstration on how to assemble the six inch D logs, and from here we're gonna move on to show you some of the specifics that are related to some other log styles.